What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we are talking about Microsoft Flow, we are talking about variables, and we are talking about setting variables action. So, what is set variable? So set variable is a specific action where we may want to change the value of a variable we've initialized at an earlier stage. So for instance, if you are setting a variable with say like a number, so the number 10, and then later on you actually um, go get a number that you want to then use later on um, from maybe a SharePoint list, maybe a number of tweets, maybe a number of cases in your Dynamics 365 CE instance, and you want to then set that against the variable that you're then calling further down, then that's what that can do. So let's take a look at it. So I'm in Microsoft Flow here, I've got manual trigger, and then we are initializing a variable called test v1, which is just an integer with a value of 10. Click new step, uh, we go to built in, then we can go to variables, and we can go to set variable. So the name, the name is actually the name of the variable that we are creating. So in in the variable stage, we're actually looking for the name of the variable, not the name of the step, like we used to in Microsoft Flow, where we're usually, you know, looking for that step name when setting something. This is actually looking for the name of the variable that we're setting there, and then we can specify a value. Now, it's important to note you your value has to match the type of the variable that you are setting, meaning that if I have an integer here and I try and put in a word, for instance, it's not going to work because a word is not an integer. Um, so it's the same thing for any other types that you've got. Um, so if you've got like, you know, a Boolean or an array, you just need to make sure that you are putting in the value that will match that integer, otherwise your flow will fail. So in this instance, I just want to set uh, it to a default value. But as you can see, we do have the dynamic content, so I can actually go off and get a piece of dynamic content that I'd want to put in this, and then that variable would be uh, would be there. So let's take a look at how this looks. So I'll perform the action. We'll click Run Flow, and then we'll see it run successfully. So we're initializing a variable of 10, and then we are setting the variable of 5. So we're saying the input is going to be Test v, test v1 is the name of the variable that we are setting. We're um, setting it to a value of 5. So the output is the new test v1 has a value of 5. So it's that simple. Um, this should be really useful, especially if you need to um, use a variable later on, but you need to actually go get that piece of information first from, say, another record or another list. You can then use that later on to then do various calculations or some other work with it. So it's a really useful function. So not only can we initialize the variable, we can then update it and just say this is the value of it, which is really handy. Right, I hope you guys like this video. If you did like it, please drop a like. Uh, please put a comment down below if this is something you're going to be using going forward or something you already use. I'm always interested in how people use Microsoft Flow, so please let me know. Um, if you did like this video and you do like my channel, please share it with your friends. If you've not yet already, please subscribe. Um, and if you're not hitting me up on Twitter, please do that. I'm at D365Geek, and I love to hear about your uses of Microsoft Flow. So I hope you like this video, and I'll see you next time.